almost exclusively people were buying my products as gifts. So once I changed my messaging to this is a gift brand, things really exploded. And that took a lot of thinking. You are listening to Thrive by Design, business, marketing, and lifestyle strategies for your jewelry brand to flourish and thrive. Let's get started. Welcome to the Thrive by Design podcast, episode 112. I am excited to be here because today I have an amazing guest on the show. This is Tracy Matthews here before... I go in any deeper. I just wanted to introduce myself. I am the Chief Visionary Officer over at Flourish and Thrive Academy. And today is part two in our Digital Marketing Momentum series. And we're going to be talking with a very special guest today, Melissa Camilleri Anasich, about how to brand for more sales online. I'm super stoked about this episode today because Melissa has been a member of the Flourish and Thrive community since we started. In fact, she was one of our first our first members in Flourish and Thrive Academy. She took laying the foundation, I think the first time out of the gate. And she has grown so much in business from quitting her full-time job to creating a lifestyle brand that's to die for. She has completely learned how to brand herself and completely connect with her dream clients and build an online presence that is funneling traffic on a daily basis of her dream clients back to her shop And she's going to talk about some of the realizations that she has come to over the time of growing her business, Compliment Inc. And I'm very excited to share her story. You probably have heard her before because she has been on the episode or has been on the podcast a few times. Uh, She did a great episode, if you haven't listened to it, about hashtags for Instagrams and how to use those hashtags to find your dream clients. That's episode 17. And then she, I also interviewed her for episode 96, I believe. Let me double check that. Yep, it's episode 96. Sometimes I'm forgetful. And in that episode, she talks about some of the recent changes in Instagram. But while Melissa is known as our Instagram expert over here at Flourish and Thrive, one of the cool things about Melissa is that her skills and talents go much deeper than that. And she's really a master at branding herself and her business online. And she is going to share some of the ways that she's done that using her Shopify shop and using that tool as a platform to continue to grow uh, sales, to be able to employ some of her former students, and to be able to get consistent online sales and wake up to an inbox full of orders, which is what I think we all want at the end of the day, especially those of us who are trying to get more traffic from online visitors and to convert that traffic into sales. So I'm really excited about this episode. We are going to dive in for a moment, but this series that we've been working on all week is all about building up your digital marketing momentum. So for those of you who haven't checked it out yet, I would love for you to download a freebie that we have going on right now. We love to give away stuff for free and it's called the Digital Marketing Momentum Scorecard. What this scorecard is going to do, it's gonna help show you or like help you assess where you are in your online savviness in the world. So what we wanna eventually get you to do is to have a sold out e-store and to continue getting sales consistently online, if that's something that you want, if you want to really build an online presence and online business. And our marketing scorecard, our digital marketing momentum scorecard, it's a little bit of a tongue twister, is built exactly for that. It's going to show you basically like phase one all the way through like phase eight of all the different things that you can do to build an online presence build a brand, and continue to get consistent sales. So make sure that you would download that. We're going to have it over at the show notes, flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash episode 112. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher or somewhere else, you can head on over straight to the download over at flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash marketing scorecard. That's flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash marketing scorecard. All right, guys, we are going to dive right into the episode. Before we do, I would love to take a word from our sponsor. Our sponsor today is Shopify. Shopify is one of my favorite website platforms for a few reasons. Now, I am a Shopify convert, especially for those of you who are trying to build an e-commerce store or to sell product in an online store through your branded website. And I love Shopify for a couple of reasons. I love it because it's such a robust platform 
There are so many different apps and plugins and things that you can use and add to your shop that can really over time build your sales momentum and help you be a huge success online. And ultimately, that's what we're trying to do here, right? If you want to build, you know, an online marketing, an online presence and start selling more on your website, Shopify is a really great tool. Now, we're always trying to bring Flourish and Thrive members the best of the best. So I've negotiated a really sweet deal with Shopify. You can only get it by going over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash Shopify. Here's the dealio, guys. Head to that URL over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash Shopify, and you'll see that you'll get a three-week free trial, 21-day free trial using that link. And basically what that's going to do, it's going to allow you to check out Shopify, see if the platform's for you. And then if you decide to stay, great, we're going to get you 10% off your monthly Shopify subscription fee. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, (laughs) but uh, check it out. If you are thinking about increasing your online sales and you're really trying to get sales on autopilot through your e-commerce store, I'd highly recommend that you check it out. FloristriveAcademy.com forward slash Shopify. All right, let's dive right into this amazing episode with Melissa. Welcome to Thrive by Design, guys. I have one of our regular guests here on the show, or back on the show, I should say. And today we're talking about a very different topic that I don't usually talk about with Melissa. So first and foremost, why don't I just spill the beans? Today I have Melissa Camilleri Anasich on the show today, and we're going to talk about branding and personal branding on your website, brand branding on your website, for lack of a better word, and how to integrate all that into your digital marketing and sales strategy for building your business online. Melissa, thanks for coming here. Hey, being on Tracy. The show. <laughs> My pleasure. I love being here. You know that. So I love Melissa for a lot of reasons. And Melissa is going to be... We're announcing something new right now, is going to be a coach in our online sales accelerator program, where it's going to be revealed about that. And I'm going to have some information for you actually at the end of this show about how you can learn a little bit more about that program. But Melissa has been started out as a student of Flourish and Thrive when we first launched the company. (laughs) Back in the day, she was a a full-time school teacher and she had this idea about raising money for girls or her students who she wanted to help send to college. And has built built a really amazing lifestyle brand called Compliment Inc. And I'm just so impressed by her growth that over the years, I have not only asked her on the podcast several times, but I asked her to be a mentor in our Diamond Insiders community. Now she's going to be a coach. And she's just, I get like a little bit emotional when I talk about Melissa because it's just, she's really like one of those success stories that you're in awe of because you saw where they came from and you've seen their evolution. And she's just a branding genius. And thanks for being here, Melissa. Oh my gosh. I'm blushing on the other side of the phone right now. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm, I want to cry because I say this every time I'm on the show, but I owe so much to you and Flourish and Thrive for giving me the foundation to, I mean, literally I took lame foundation, but <laughs> putting that foundation underneath me to really understand what it means to be a visionary in my company and to really bring this dream that I had to life when everybody around me thought it was just so silly at first and like just this unattainable goal. And you guys really believed in me and and helped make it happen. So thank you. I owe so much to you guys. Doesn't it feel good that you've proved all those people wrong? Oh, hell yeah. Because they all beg for jobs now. (laughs) You know, I think that it's so interesting because this always like really saddens me because I would say that my family members for the most part have been supportive. There was one time in my career that my dad said to me after I closed my first business, Maybe you should get a job. And I was like, what, what are you talking about, Willis? Basically to my dad, because my that is unusual in my family because we come from a long line of entrepreneurial people. If a member of my family is not an entrepreneur, more than likely they have their own company in some way, shape or form. That was an interesting piece of feedback. And I remember hearing that and hearing that like really saddened me because I didn't feel like I had the support. So I can't, it always saddens me when people say like their husband doesn't support them because they think it's a hobby or the people around them. So my mission is to get people like <laughs> all the people follow us <laughs> to prove those naysayers wrong because it's, it is possible. It does take work and strategy. You've worked very hard yeah. and I've seen what has come out the other side, but it is possible. Yeah. And I even remember a time when you like weren't paying yourself. And I remember you sharing with me at a certain point, you're like, 
I finally am paying myself a paycheck every month. And I was just so excited about that. Yeah. And have continued to do so. And then what's even more amazing is that, you know, I just came back from maternity leave and my own company paid my maternity leave. So great. Which is like amazing, right? Like I got a paycheck from my company during maternity leave through the state. Like it's just insane to me that it's, this is something that I created and it's like official and it helps you know, put food on my table for me, my family and helps me raise my son from home. You know, it's just, it's too much. It's so, it's so amazing. I, I just am so in awe. And you have several people working for you now. Yeah, I do. Some part-time, some full-time and some contractors who are remote, but yeah, we have a, a little team and um, currently as we speak, six blocks away from my house, I have a little studio um, and office space where I have two girls who are my production assistants and they're in there making and shipping our orders from Labor Day weekend. So that is amazing. I yeah. love it. I love it. Okay. So let's talk about branding. So okay. you just did a website revamp, right? Yeah. Huge. Okay. So why don't you tell me, well, first and foremost, let's like backtrack a little bit. Let's do like a real quick recap in case someone listening to this episode has never heard of who you are, like what your brand okay. is. So why don't we, you just tell us a little bit about you and your brand, but I feel like everyone should know who you are. <laughs> Well, in case you don't know me, everybody, I'm just kidding. I started this brand compliment in the fall of 2011. I was a high school English teacher and avid teacher working with at-risk students who had the potential to for great success academically, socially, and emotionally, but lacked a lot of the means. So I was making jewelry wire wrapped rings in particular for my friends and to match my outfits and had absolutely zero vision of being a business owner. When one of my students asked me to create for her ring to match her homecoming dress, by the end of the week, I had 20 orders. And I thought I could sell these rings during prom season to the wealthier high school up the street. And with the money and the proceeds that I earned, I could create a scholarship program for my students. And that's about as big as I dreamed. That Christmas, so that was like in November that I launched it. By Christmas, I had sold, um, I think, $2,000 worth of jewelry. So great. And I thought, this is pretty cool. And I was able to give my first scholarship, which is $250. And, you know, that was six years ago. So now we just gave away $3,200 in scholarship money to girls here locally. And every year it just grows and grows. But the vision um, from the very beginning was that by giving compliments to people. We uplift their spirits and we shine a light on their gifts because that's what I knew I was good at as a teacher. And then through these gifts that we're giving, we're raising money to help others achieve their dreams. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And you are amazing. So I'm so glad that you're here because like really we're, I'm going to give you a compliment because where I really feel like you shine bright. <laughs> And we were talking, I probably already said this, but when we were talking in the pre-show, just like catching up or whatever, you know, I said, one of the things I really think you're a genius on is like pulling all everything about your brand and how it matters to your dream client together in one big ball of wax so that you're like creating this amazing brand presence out there and you're getting consistent orders. Like, yeah. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you're getting orders like probably every day on your website. Oh yeah. I mean, multiple every day. Multiple orders every yeah. day. So that's the goal, guys. We were talking about this before to get sales on autopilot on your website because people connect with your brand. They think of you, all your digital marketing and everything's connected and the branding makes sense. And you know how to draw those dream clients in with your branding and the way your website's set up so that when they land on your site, it's a no brainer for them to actually purchase a product and keep the sales coming in so that you maybe eventually have a studio six blocks down the street and a couple people and a team of contractors working for, <laughs> for you if that's what you want. Or you can keep it simple like me and just have consistent leads coming into your website so that you can make sales basically in your sleep, but in a different type of business model, right? I'm not yes. necessarily selling e-commerce, but I have consistent leads coming from online traffic and sales. So, all right, let's talk about this. So tell us a little bit more about this sort of rebrand. I mean, the branding still seems like it has always been on point to me. You kind of mm -hmm. did this rebrand. You relaunched your website. Why did you decide to do that? And what are some of the things that you you did or you were thinking about in the process when you're going through this process? Yeah. Okay. So I felt like my website, I'd outgrown it probably over a little over a year ago. And because I was pregnant and in the throes of being a new mom, I just 
didn't have any of the energy or the mental space to rebrand until I did just a couple of months ago. And the thing that actually inspired me was that my, this is so funny, but my little sister just graduated from college. And in her final semester in college, she was in a PR class and had to create a brand video for a company that either they made up or that they had a relationship with. So she pitched compliment to her group and said, can we make a brand video for my sister's company. And I was like, uh, yeah, that would be rad. Yeah, you for sure. Yeah. So, um, she's really talented, um, and actually does social media for the San Francisco giants baseball team, which is like oh, super rad. Cause she's in my family, you know? So she and her, I hope you're getting tickets to the games. You know what? I haven't been once this year because of the baby, but, um, my parents and, <laughs> and my husband, they get hooked up all the time, but yeah. Okay. So anyways, I met with her team or like her, her group members, and I was able to share with them the different things that mattered about the brand. And they had a lot of questions for me. And because I've been at this for a while, I've been able to kind of refine the way that I talk about my brand. And so they created this, this awesome video and she just sent me a link and she's like, here you go. And it was a minute long. And I'm like, sweet, let me put this up on Instagram. Sweet. Let me show this on Facebook. And then I was like, well, what else am I going to do with this? Cause it's so good. I want to use mm-hmm. it. So that's kind of what led me actually, like it was the kick in the pants I needed to find a theme, a new theme for my website that could highlight a brand video first and foremost. Cause that's also been a goal of mine in my marketing yeah. strategy is to include more video. Um, yeah, because it's I, so important. It's more engagement. Right. So I found a theme that I liked and just to be clear, you, you're using Shopify. Yeah. I'm, I'm using Shopify and up until like, you know, when did I rebrand? Like four months ago, maybe three months ago. Up until that point, I was using a free Shopify theme, um, the React theme. Really? Yeah, it was free. And I just had a slider and it was... You used a free Shopify theme for all this time? Yeah, yeah, for five and a half years. Yep. Oh my gosh. So um, I had, I would change out my slider seasonally, you know, like, so when it was the holidays, I would have like Christmassy looking pictures or Mm -hmm. whatever. But I wanted the brand video to be, you know, front and center. So that's how I picked this theme. What theme did you pick? Just curious. Um, okay, this is embarrassing, but I can't remember what it's called. So I have to look it up really quick. <laughs> because once I found it, I was like, okay, this is the one I want. And because it was paid, I like hemmed and hawed for a second, which is so stupid. But I like to run things like bootstrap really lean so that I could maximize my profits. And it is called, the theme is called Flow, F-L-O-W. That's your new theme. And what was the old theme? The old theme was called React. And it was a free theme. Yep. Okay, cool. And I've also used New Standard, which is also free at different points in my online life. So I decided that like, I love my logo. It's like super simple. It's type font. It's very schooly looking to Mm -hmm. me. It's very kind of librarian. And that's always the vibe that I've wanted to go with. Um, so I kept that really clean. I, I've i really made a move to make a lot of my branding colors black and white because I felt like that elevated my brand a little bit because I think that black is is really chic. Yeah. But I it's also neutral so that the when I change out the colors of my collections or whatever, my my branding still matches. So that that was always a decision from early on. But one of the things that I um, did once I changed my website is I ordered all new packaging as well. So I was using craft boxes. Yeah. And now um, I, I'm using black glossy boxes embossed with white. So. Oh, cool. I was going to say the box is still a craft on your site. Progress, not perfection, right? Exactly. So that was when, when Tracy reached out to me to have this conversation, I was like, but everything's not perfect yet, but I'm totally okay talking about each of the stages in the journey because I am somebody who just believes like when you have an idea, you've got to launch it before you talk yourself out of it. And it's so I'm a recovering perfectionist, but once I am too, you know, when you have all of the pieces in line, it, it could take forever. So I just kind of like get it out there as best I can. But it was time to elevate and, and to upgrade a little bit. So pretty soon I have a photo shoot with all my new packaging to kind of update all of the photos online. I love it. Well, I'm really excited about you. And your brand video is playing. It's so cute because it's a bunch of girls 
wearing yeah. your jewelry and holding the products and women of all ages are in it. And then, you know, like all walks of life and it was taken on a college campus. So that all sort of has to go into, you know, it's like women supporting other women and giving compliments and shining a light on people's gifts. And also the whole like teacher and student vibe that I have going. So I just loved how my sister was like, okay, it's done. Here you go. What do you think? I'm like crying, you know? I'm so You're like, this is so amazing. It's totally the, my brand. <laughs> yeah. And it's nice because I, she's been with me on this journey and has worked for me, you know, in her summer's home and stuff. So she understands what I'm getting at. So it was a very easy translation. I don't know if I would have had something quite as good. So, so simply had, um, I had to translate the vision myself, but Maybe. I don't know. So I want to ask you about a couple of the elements and things that you have on your website. Are you cool with that? Yeah, please. Because we're just like going with the flow here. She's not, Melissa's yeah. not totally prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> things at her. One thing that I love that you do is you really make your blog kind of about your brand. And I'm sure that you feel like it's a work in progress, but I think you've done a good job, like sort of like weaving it cohesively into like the bigger message of what you're doing as a brand. So talk a little bit about how you choose blogging topics and what your objectives are with your blog. Yeah, sure. So um, if you scroll that far enough in my blog, you will just like probably have a laughing fit because it was so bad (laughs) until I figured out my brand voice and how I wanted to show up. I was just thinking about the things that I would read that um, inspired me Mm -hmm. um, because I'm very similar to my ideal client. And this actually came from my time as a teacher. When I first started blogging, I was still in the classroom, you know? So Mm -hmm. the things that I would find online that were inspirational or uplifting that I would bring into my students to, and share with them like Ted talks or, you know, things that I found on YouTube or, um, different articles about how we relate to one another and helping people be their best self. Those were the things that I started off blogging about. And now I've kind of narrowed that focus down a little bit more. So I know my ideal client, cause I've done so much work around who my ideal client is, my dream client. I am focusing on blogging about topics that help us either be the best version of ourselves, help others be their best versions, making an impact in the world, education, or helping us relate to one another on a deeper, more authentic Mm -hmm. level. Because that's really what, you know, the idea behind compliment is, is to try and uplift each other. And so my like unofficial tagline is give a gift that uplifts. Mm Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. So, and I think that kind of like, that actually took me a long time to figure that part out of my brand because at first I thought people were going to be buying for themselves. And what I learned really early on is that people don't like to compliment themselves. They feel like that's conceited or hot Mm -hmm. or whatever. And so almost exclusively people were buying my products as gifts. So once I changed my messaging to this is a gift brand, things really exploded. And that took a lot of thinking, which it seems so simple, but that one little shift made it really clear, like you are buying this for somebody else. Oh, boom. Like people got it then. And I can trace it back to that like little shift in language. But yeah, so we buy gifts that uplift. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. So back to the blog, you know, the stuff that I'm posting are things that I would, if I saw this elsewhere, I would want to share on Facebook because it is inspiring or Mm -hmm. good news or, you know, the things that I would want to read really amazing or my friends would want to read. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. So you have a couple of little like plug any things that I want to talk about. One is something that I've seen on a lot of brand websites lately, which I think is an amazing tool. And I don't know if this is the name of it, but there's something else that you could put on a WordPress site called Proof. But it's sort of like a proof app. It shows when people are buying product and it kind of cycles through. So it'll pop up randomly like when someone buys something. So tell us a little bit about that. So on Shopify, um, this plugin is called Yo, Y-O. And I put this on my site probably right before Christmas in 2016. So like maybe early November when people would start buying before Black Friday, because I knew that obviously like for for most of us, that's when our traffic really increases. So I wanted there to be some social proof and I got people immediately saying, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. 
I, I love this. You could see what people are buying and it gives me ideas of what to shop for. So yeah, yo, I really like it. And it's pretty inexpensive. There's another plugin that I really love called Kit. Have you heard of Kit? K-I-T? No, what's Kit? I need to get like, start doing like a, a resource of all the amazing Shopify plugins. Yeah. And you know what? They're called apps on Shopify. So apps. I should like, yeah, be good on my language. But so Kit is a really cool thing that kind of acts as a virtual assistant. Um, you can, yeah, it's weird and, and so cool. It's and like kind of hit the car from, um, yeah. Wait, what was Knight that Rider. show? Yeah. Knight, Knight Rider. Rider. Yeah. yeah. With Michael David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, <laughs> whatever. I can't remember yeah. anyone's name, but I'm like, <laughs> the Baywatch guy. Um, yeah. So it's, it's really cool. Um, I don't use all of its functionality because it will like, so what does it do? It's like a virtual assistant, but what does it do for you? So you could program it to like run Facebook ads for you. What? Yeah, it's crazy. So the, I don't, I haven't figured that part out yet to where it looks the way I want it to look. But here's the craziest part. You can go in and put your settings on like most popular products, products of, you know, highest priority that you want to market. You can make a setting for thank you emails that, that go out. So that's what I use it predominantly for. And every morning I get a text from Kit that says, Yesterday, we sold seven products to five new customers. Would you like to send a thank you note? Hit one for yes, two for no. So I'll hit one. Oh my gosh. And it sends an email blast out to every new person who's purchased from me, reiterating my brand story. Thank you so much for buying from Compliment. Your purchase makes a difference. We are helping girls go to college. You know, so far we have raise X amount of dollars, blah, blah, blah. And I can't tell you how many people since I've established that in, you know, in the last six months or eight months or whatever have written me back and it said, what a beautiful touch. You are so welcome. Um, I love what your company stands for. And I feel like that has hooked them now to be loyal customers. And then it also had me program in a thank you note template for people who have purchased for a second time. So it says, once I set, send out the first purchase emails, then it'll send me a text, right? Kit will send me a text right away, um, right after. And it'll say, we also had three people make a second purchase. Would you like to thank them? And it sends a different thank you note to them that says, thank you so much for your second purchase. As you know, blah, blah, blah. And I, and you know, like I wrote the template to be something different, but that feature alone is worth every penny to me because it's just one more personal touch. And I sign it with my name. It gives my email, like reach out to me if you have any questions whatsoever about your order and I'm happy to help however I can. And so like my customer service is just so like spot on with that one uh, function. And the cool part about this that I love so much is that it's automated and you're not thinking about having to do it. It just automatically happens. Yeah, it's literally one number. I punch into my text and I hit send. And my phone's (sighs) always on me. So like that's not any thinking. That is easy. Easy, easy. Kit. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, Awesome. Okay, so the other thing that I'm noticing here, because Messenger (laughs) has been like a huge sort of, thing these days with messenger bots and yep. the ability to message from your site. So I see that you have a message us thing. I'm just going to click it right now. What happens when they message you? Is that like an instant messaging app or is it a bot or like, what is it? It's a bot that um, connects to my Facebook page. Oh my gosh. Um, it says get started. Are you using many chat for this or is something else? This is actually the Facebook messenger app in Shopify. And so okay. I just got a notification on my phone that Tracy Matthews sent a message to the compliment page that says, get started. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) so what this does on my end, what I see is that I can connect with, with my different clients who are, who maybe need a question. So when I'm not sitting at my computer and I'm on the go, I'll get a message that says, Hey, I'm really interested in blah, 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 but I don't see it in this color. Do you have any alternatives or whatever? You know, people send me questions on their constant, like all the time, like multiple a day. So I'm able to respond. I've also set in my messenger, a, um, automatic reply that says our hands are busy making gifts that uplift. Yeah. It says, I'll read it. Yeah. Our hands are busy making gifts that uplift, but we'll get back to you shortly. XOX team compliment. Need help? Leave us a message here and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And so that way, at least there's like a response right away. And I'm able to then go to my, like, you know, if I'm in a meeting or I can't, you know, I'm driving or whatever, and I can't respond right away, that at least tells people like, Hey, I got your message and I'm about ready to respond, but my hands are busy now making jewelry or whatever. So, and I've had great, great feedback from that as well, because it's connected to my Shopify. 
it's also connected to my shipping notifications. So in mm. if you decide that they're going to connect with me via messenger, which is an option at checkout, just be, just through this app. Like I haven't, I'm not like super tech wizard at all. Like I just said, yeah, I want to put this app on. Then they are able to get their shipping notifications every time that they're updated through USPS, they get it on their Facebook messenger, a notification. So it has really reduced the amount of time I spend with customer service inquiries. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. What is the name of this app? I want to post it here in the show notes. I think it's just called Messenger for Shopify, like Facebook Messenger for Shopify. Let me just double check though. That's amazing. This is a real time podcast, guys. We're not we're not glossing <laughs> over. We're like doing the research as we're on this call. Yeah, so the thing totally. I love about this from a branding perspective is like all these little touches. So you have the kit thing that you're using it has this e- email autoresponder sequence. You're sort of showing proof on your site about stuff that people are buying. You're connecting your blog to uplifting, inspiring topics, which are which is the whole theme of your brand. The visual mm-hmm. imagery, you know, you're you're going to be doing a photo shoot, and this is like something that we spoke about before the progress, not perfection thing, like trying to Mm -hmm. like just getting things out there. I mean, it looks beautiful anyway, but I'm, I, I know that you're changing some of your packaging and stuff like that. Yeah. But keeping all that, that imagery tied in to the message, which I think is really important. And then using this extra added touch because people are on Facebook all the time and connecting like a messenger bot strategy with language that you would actually use in all of your other marketing in that messaging, which I think is great. And this is, and it's so simple guys, like how you can really create this like cohesive, really connected brand. And sometimes it's really hard to see it for for yourself. I'm sure Melissa, you've, you know, you've been working at this for a long time. I mean, I know you have been working at this for a long time. And sometimes it's like really helpful to have outside eyes seeing it, but it's just these little teeny touches that you can add, just add in, like sprinkle in to make a really big impact. Yeah. And just to clarify, like my website did not at all start here. Like every time I find something new or interesting or cool, I'll research it and then I'll add another layer and then I'll add another layer or I'll take out something that's not working. Like I had just downloaded an app called, uh, it was some, I don't, I don't want to put it on blast, it, Yeah. but I'm just going to say like, it was a loyalty rewards program uh-huh. and I could not get it to function the way that I wanted it to. And I felt like it was really clunky. So I just took it off. Like there are lots of things that I try and then I assess whether or not it is worth the investment if it costs or if it's cluttering up my site or whatever that Mm -hmm. I'll put on and then I'll take off. So it is totally constantly a work in progress. And I'm always looking for ways to improve. But I also do work on it every single day, not necessarily my website, but my branding, my messaging, how to get the word out about compliment. It's something I, I actually work on every day, which is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's not all day every day, but like every day compliment is on my to do list. That's awesome. So we're right at about, we're going to be right at about like the 30 minute marker before we wrap all this up with all this amazing information. So is there any final note that you want to say like about your rebrand or anything about branding that you want, um, you know, other people to know about, I don't know, in general? (laughs) Yeah. um, I don't know why I just said it like that, but. (laughs) Okay. So actually one of the things that really out started elevating my brand was when I actually booked photo shoots. And I have used the same photographer now for about 18 months, maybe, maybe just under two years. And her style of photography totally is what I was trying to go after in terms of like lifestyle shots. Mm-hmm. She's good at product shots. She definitely is. But that isn't what I was like most concerned about. I wanted her to be able to capture emotion on people's faces and to understand the different themes that I was trying to go for. Mm-hmm. So she, because it's the same photographer, she has the same eye, the same style, the same like color balance. So all of my photos look cohesive, even if they weren't taken on the exact same day. So she's been up to my studio to take branding pictures. She's been up, you know, like we have created photo shoots, like holiday shoots where, and I don't pay for models. I ask my friends like, yeah, you know, like, Hey, smart you're branding cute. hack. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're fun and cute. Can I pay you in some product or can I take you out to lunch? And will you just like hold up some boxes for me and put on some earrings and like smile and jump up and down or whatever. And the girls in the graduation caps on my Facebook page, those are the three girls that work for me. And two of the three of them are former students of mine. So like I pull from my own community and try and give 
work to people who I know. And also like, I just use what I have. Like, I don't need to go through a big modeling agency to get, because that's the look of my brand. It's for like the everyday woman. Now, if you're doing like some high fashion thing, you might need to go and get a model. And if you don't know any models yourself, but that's just like, I want to make it very clear that I don't have some like, uh, like, fancy resources that I'm holding in my back pocket that I don't tell people. This is just like one step in front of the other, one day after the next, just trying to figure out how to get my messaging, how I want it, both visually and in word words that I use. So um, I think having that photographer be on my team has really helped tremendously. And, you know, because she's like, on my team, we worked out a deal that I have like four or five photo shoots in a year. And I get, you know, 200 pictures per shoot and she's done my family photos. Like I try and give her as much business as possible because she really gets my aesthetic. I love it. I have a photographer that are two actually that I love working with and neither of them live in New York. So it's really hard, like planning the shoot. It's tough to like (laughs) be organized, but they totally get, you know, they get the essence of the branding and like what, what I'm going for, et cetera. So I love that you said that because it's important for many, many years. I worked with my photographer, Raquel, who did most of my photography for tracymatthews.com. And when she moved Mm -hmm. away from New York, it became really hard for me to work with her primarily because like when I ship a ring, it has, when I finish a ring, it has to ship out like the next day. So it's been like heartbreaking. I haven't really had like a full replacement for that. I have a good photographer now, but it's not the same because there's not the, that, like, like you were saying that branding story and emotional, like she really just got, got what I wanted. And I can definitely see that in your and your photography too, which is amazing. Yeah. It tells a story. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can find Melissa in a lot of different ways. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how awesome Melissa is. She has a great (laughs) course called the 21 day Insta course. And if you haven't already taken it and you're interested in checking it out, you can head on over to floristhriveacademy.com forward slash compliment. That's floristhriveacademy.com forward slash compliment. Melissa is also so amazing that she's agreed to be one of our coaches for a new coaching program that we're bringing forward. And I'm excited to have Melissa on as an expert for that. So in the show notes, we're going to have more information about that. Melissa, are you excited for it too? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. This is like what my where my heart is, is in teaching and mentoring and coaching because like that's what I went to school for. That, like I had no idea I was going to be a designer or own an e-commerce business, but mentoring, that is like, that's my heart. So I can't wait. I love meeting people and helping them succeed and, you know, shine their lights the brightest. So I can't wait. I'm stoked. Cannot wait. (laughs) And you know, what's awesome too, is that Melissa like really does is doing the work in her own business. So she's like, you know, I love that she just gave us a ton of resources to look into for our own websites and stuff like that. And she's just, she's a wealth of knowledge in so many ways. Like we haven't even scratched the tip of the iceberg. And when I was talking with her the other day and I, you know, invited her to be a coach in the program, she sent me this like laundry list of, uh, maybe laundry list is the wrong word, but this huge list of things where she really feels like she's an expert in. And, you know, initially when Melissa came into our community, you know, she was like our like sort of branding on Instagram expert. And now it's just like the growth of like what she is really an expert in is like, so beyond that, it's pretty amazing. Like I would say like, in a way, like you're a Shopify expert on a budget, which I think is amazing because like, you know, people, like a lot of people want to dive into Shopify, but they don't know where to start. And I had no idea you were working off a free theme for five years. Yeah. I mean, I'm like totally blown away, but to say, but <laughs> not really. I mean, I think that's smart. Like you're really like doing like the due diligence and there's, I mean, I could just like gush about you for like, thank you. 30 hours you're, I mean, it's straight. kind of embarrassing and it's really humbling, but I, I appreciate it. And the list of things that I feel confident in coaching in or that I'm an expert in is not just because I've like dabbled in business for the last few years. It comes from, you know, like a lot of what I bring to my business is from my teaching background. Yeah. You know, it's like my sensibilities as a professional are is in a completely different industry than this. So, but there's so much crossover, tons and tons of crossover yeah. that I think are not always apparent. So yes, I can help with Instagram for sure, but there's other things I can help. But with. I think it's a bigger picture of branding because that's really yeah. what you're a genius at. Thank you. It's like taking like, a message and turning it into everything that your brand 
evolves around. Thank you so much. And I really feel like even for people who don't feel like they have a message, like you're really good at pulling that out. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like that is what I was good at as a teacher in the classroom is honing in on what somebody's gifts and talents are and like really hearing their story and picking out the nuggets that really make them stand out regardless of what their product is. And I think that that's what we all struggle with as jewelry designers, mm-hmm. for the, not all of us, but a large majority of us because our market is completely saturated. And if, especially if we're on Etsy and people are only comparing Mm -hmm. by price, the only thing that you have to stand out amongst other people on Etsy is the brand that you've created. Exactly. And so it's so important to figure out what your story is and how you're bringing that to the table. Otherwise, you know, like, I don't know how long your success will last if you're only um, selling because you're the cheapest one on the block. I I always, I tell a lot of my coaching clients that, you know, like you don't necessarily want to be the Walmart of jewelry, you know, like you put in a lot of Mm -mm. effort and work into this. Like let's build a brand so that you can charge what your time and your resources are worth and, you know, and still make a good living and, and you're, you should be able to pay yourself and all that. So Um, branding is like so crucial to really creating longevity in your business. Awesome. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for being here and for being awesome. Thank you for having me. And likewise to you, I, I owe you, like I said, I owe you so much gratitude for seeing what was possible for compliment and helping me along the way. So thank you. My (laughs) pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to the show today, guys. This is Tracy Matthews signing off. But before I do, I wanted to remind you to make sure that you download our digital marketing momentum scorecard. Take that assessment. It's going to be a really amazing game changer for you. You're going to know exactly what you need to do to get more sales online. And some of the steps that, you know, some of the gaps that might be on your website that are causing, you know, those, the trickles of traffic you're getting to not convert. Um, so if you want to go from trickles of traffic to sold out e-commerce store, I'd highly recommend that you download that. Now, last week at our live event, I also announced that we are opening up a really amazing accelerator for those of you who are trying to really build your online sales. And of course, we have an acronym for this program. It's the SOS Accelerator, the Strategic Online Success Accelerator, SOS. And we love this name and we love this accelerator for a lot of reasons. You know, this accelerator is designed specifically for designers who are trying to grow their online business. And here's the deal. You're going to get a um, once a month group coaching call with me focused all around digital marketing strategy. You will get to pick from our team of over 15, probably at about 20 coaches right now in all areas of your business. You need help with copy. We have copywriting coaches. You need help with your digital marketing strategy. We have digital marketing coaches. You need help with accountability and getting stuff done. We have accountability coaches. You need help with a social media strategy. We have social media coaches. We have just about everything that you need to really make your online store a success. Plus, we're bringing in other experts to help you with Facebook ads, to help you with a lot of different types of paid advertising, to help you set up your automated funnels. It's going to be amazing. Plus, I'm going to be hosting quarterly digital marketing workshops that are going to be focused around a specific area to automate or elevate your online store your online presence, your website, so that you can start getting more customers buying in your sleep. And you can also start re-engaging those customers who've already purchased and convert that cold traffic into loyal fans for life. We are really excited about this. If you'd like to apply, head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash SOS. That's flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash SOS. The full details will be right there. Thanks for listening today. I am looking forward to supporting you guys. Check it out. Until next time, this is Tracy Matthews signing off.